overview and how-to of the Texturize It action for Photoshop. Once you download it, you're just going to have two files in here, the instructions and the actual action itself called Texturize It. The instructions will walk you through how to actually get it installed, but it's pretty simple. Basically, just move your Texturize It into your Photoshop uh, Actions folder or whatever folder you want. Um, I would just you know, make sure you keep all your actions in the same place. It makes life easier. But once you do that, um, open up Photoshop and make sure you have your Actions pane open here. If you don't, it's just under Window, then Actions, and select that. Um, once you open it, go in here to this drop down menu with a drop down arrow and just go over down here to load actions and that should bring you to your Photoshop actions folder. You might have to navigate to wherever you happen to install it, but in this case it was right there ready then just hit load. I've already got it loaded so I'm not going to do that. Um, inside there you'll see the folder called texturize it. And there's five different options. There's pull only, light distress, medium distress, heavy distress, and ultra distress. Uh, basically it's just, you know, how dark, uh, how heavy do you want your distress to be? So it gives you a few different options. Different textures will require, you know, different settings to get the look you're trying to achieve. Um, it just gives a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a options expandability for what you're trying to do. But in this case, we're going to go to pull only first, uh, just to go over what this is for. And this is basically if you want your texture to look exactly like your existing texture that you have. Um, in this case, this is another texture I offer in a texture pack. And this action is just going to help quickly pull it and give it a transparent background so you don't have to go into channels and do that yourself. Uh, saves a bit of time, always nice. Um, something to note, if the image is in grayscale, it might give an error saying hue saturation not available. That's just because you can't do that in grayscale, but the texture, uh, texturized it action will still work just fine. So once you're ready, just have that selected to pull only, hit go on the, the play section here. And really quickly, as you can see, it uh, you know has a transparent background and you turn on my layers palette. Um, you know, just to get a better idea, hit the wrong button. I'll just put in a white background down here. So you can see, you know, nice on its own layer. Saves a bit of time. But anyways, uh, the more exciting ones are if you have an actual image of a texture that you want, you know, you can kind of play around with what you're looking for from light to ultra. You could do a pull only as well. It'll basically look exactly like you see here. But let's just do light uh, for now so you can kind of see how that's going to look. I'll put a background white. So as you can see, it very, very quickly pulled the texture. It's on its own transparent layer and gives a nice effect. And I'll just apply this over here to the 99. Move this up. I'll do a couple of these just so you can kind of see how different ones look. Um, to do this as a you know quick how-to, just hit Control and then select it. Or if you're on a Mac, hit Command and select it. Then you just turn that off and then go down here to this quick mask, the rectangle with the circle, and hit it. Um, and that really quickly applies the texture to whatever you're looking for. Um, a lot of times, too, I like to invert the actual mask. So you can have the mask selected. Hit Control I on a PC or Command I on a Mac. Um, you know, just a quick way to flip the overall outcome. But I'm going to go back in here and go back to the beginning. And we ran light last time, which looks kind of like this. So this time, let's do a heavy. Just run the action. And as you can see, it's a vastly different effect. Um, so if I take this, and it's already you know, on a transparent, saves us time. Pull that one over. Let's just apply that to the 99. Turn this one off. Let's move the mask. If you ever want to move the mask, just unclick this little, it's like a chain link. You know, Turn that off, and you can move the mask wherever you want. You can invert it. In this case, it's super, you know, that won't work. But, you know, same texture, two very different results. And let's just pull in another texture so we can kind of see how it handles totally different looking things. And I'll actually include a link to where I got all these textures from. It's a pretty cool free resource. Um, what will look cool here? Cracks are always cool. Just drag it into my Photoshop. You know, and then just kind of think, you know, how dark do you want it? Run it. And there you go. It's done. Really designed to save you a lot of time and whatever you're doing. And also just, you know, if you have one texture, you can get multiple different looks that may or may not work well for the project you're looking at. But that should pretty much do it. Thanks for looking, and hopefully this was helpful.